Howling wind, blowing rain, household up through this hurricane. Starry night, milky way, wish the stream would go away. Fallen tree, sunny day, we made it through this hurricane. Well, we when we did our poetry thing, my mom helped me write this because she was trying to help my grandma, who was living in a trailer. And her whole house is messed up. We are like still staying strong, but we're not better. Like we're improving, but there's still a lot of debris and it's hard to forget because everywhere you look, it's just debris. After the hurricane, we had to cut out my grandma's driveway because every single tree fell down, but it fell all around the house, nothing. Nothing hit the house and so we went to my other grandma's house and my dad, he kept, staying in Florida, in Panama City, just to help people tarp up roofs and for like old people that couldn't or people that just didn't know what to do. He was there helping, he'd go down to my church and he'd help pass things out to people and he was just, he was just my hurricane hero. When the hurricane happened, I was with my grandparents, and they live where the hurricane hit pretty bad in Lynn Haven. And we thought that was gonna be a good place to go. Our mistake. That was not a good place to go. We were sitting down, and then it started. The wind started blowing, and so we all went to go look outside, and me and my sister saw the first tree fall in their yard. And we got pretty scared. And so we went over and we started crying in the stairs because that was the safest place in the house. And we just were praying that none of the trees fell on the house. After the hurricane, the neighborhood was blocked off. There was trees falling across the road so cars couldn't come through. And we were there for a day because we couldn't get out. My grandma's car didn't work and a tree fell on my grandpa's car. So we couldn't drive anywhere. And then the next day, my dad and his girlfriend walked a long way and to make sure that we were okay in, in our house. And that's what touched me the most, was that he walked all that way to make sure that me and my sister were okay. So at first, we just like heard the news and we thought it was just going to be a small hurricane. And then like the next few days, the news started like flashing on like, we have to go. So my dad stayed back with the animals at first and we went to Alabama and I didn't know if he was okay or not. So we just went. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah. And then um, it, it was like last call and he had to just <laughs> shove the animals in the car. He had to go because it was about to close. I mean, he couldn't go anymore. So finally, <laughs> he, um, he got there safe. And all we could do was watch the news and not know <laughs> if our house was okay or not. <laughs> and we saw all the devastation going on and we didn't know if it was gonna be okay. And, but, and then we had to get our grandparents up. <laughs> that was hard because they had to get in the car with the animals and everything. And then we finally got back and then we, there were trees in the backyard. You couldn't even step in our backyard and you couldn't even get in our neighborhood yet because trees were just falling down in front of it and people had to, we had to drive through the golf course to get to our house. <laughs> and then when we, uh, we saw our backyard and we couldn't even step outside because all the trees that we had back there had just fallen down in our yard. <laughs> and then finally got better. And our church 
had turned the whole place into like a store that people would just go in and get stuff for free because people had no money. They just had to go in and we, and we helped out there and it was, and we helped the people get food and stuff. It's sad to think that now still today, some people are still living in tents and they can't even have their house back yet.